Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to determine the force on a charged particle that is moving through a magnetic field. Okay, and we know the magnetic field and the force that is due to that magnetic field are vector quantities. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to determine the direction of the force on a charged particle. And then in the next video, I'll be showing you how to calculate the magnitude of the force on the charged particle. Now, when we determine the direction of the force on a charged particle, most commonly we use one of the right hand rules. Now, there's a several different ways you can do this with your right hand, and this is the way I like to do it. For you use your right hand, and then on your right hand, you need the following things. You need your thumb, your fingers, and your palm. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and we're going to point it in the direction of the motion of the charged particle. Then we're going to take our fingers and we're going to point them in the direction of the magnetic field. And then our palm will point, so to speak, in the direction of the force. Okay, your palm is the surface. It doesn't really point like your fingers do or your thumb. But it'll be you can kind of push with your palm in the direction of the force. And this is a simple diagram that I found to show you that. Okay, here's your hand, your right hand. You have the Thumb is the direction, the velocity of the charged particle. B is your fingers, is the direction of the magnetic field. And then your palm points, or your palm would push in the direction of the force. Now this is your right hand, and we have your right hand rule. The right hand rule you use, so to speak, for positively charged particles. If you have a negatively charged particle, you can use your right hand rule and just say that the force is in the opposite direction. You can see this is a right hand, this is a right hand, same thing, direction, magnetic field. But instead of saying the force is up, we just say the force is down, the force is in the opposite direction. But I, what I like to do is I like to use my right hand rule for a positively charged particle, and you can do the same thing using, so to speak, your left hand rule for a negatively charged particle. Still thumb in the motion direction of motion, fingers point in the direction of the magnetic field, and then with your left hand, your palm would be pointing in the direction of the force for the left hand rule for a negatively charged particle. Okay, and we're going to do some examples in just a moment. I'll show you how that works out. Okay, now, uh, first I want to just go through a little bit about the equation. We're not going to actually do any calculations, but there is some interesting information. This is the equation that we use to calculate the force on a charged particle that is moving through a magnetic field. And you can see that the force is due to the fact that there's a charged particle. In order to have a force on a charged particle, you have to have a charged particle. And Q is the charge. V is the velocity which means the particle has to be moving, and B is the magnetic field strength, and you have to have a magnetic field if you're going to have a force due to a magnetic field on a charged particle. And sine of theta, theta is the angle between the velocity of the particle and the direction of the magnetic field. So a little bit more detail. Remember that in order for there to be a force, the particle must be in motion. It must be moving. If you just take a charged particle and you put it in a magnetic field, then there's no force on that charged particle. The angle, theta, is the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. And you'll see what we do when we do uh, some examples in a few minutes, how that works out. Now, I think this is very interesting. This is something you should keep in mind because there are kind of three different kind of extremes. I like to think about the extremes. There's three different extremes that we can have for the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. One of them is that the angle could be zero. Excuse me, let's start at the top here. It could be 90 degrees, could be 0 degrees, or could be 180 degrees. But what does it mean if the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is 90 degrees? Well, that means that the particle is moving perpendicular to the magnetic field. And if we take the sine of 90 degrees, then we get 1. And then, in a sense, the particle is feeling the full strength of that magnetic field. Because if it's moving, if the angle between the velocity and the magnetic field is 0, then that means that the particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field. Same thing if it's 180, it's moving parallel to the magnetic field. And what's the difference? Well, in one case, it's moving in the same direction as the magnetic field. In the other case, it's moving in the opposite direction of the magnetic field. But in both cases, you can think of it that the particle is moving along the magnetic field. Okay, well, what is it? The sine of zero, what is the sine of zero? If they're moving parallel to each other, then the sine is the angle is zero and the sine of zero is zero. So that means there's no force because we could take all three of these things, multiply them, the sine of zero degrees is zero and there's no force. If it's 180 degrees, then that means that the sine of 180 is also zero degrees and there's no force. 
Okay, so there's kind of three cases, maybe two cases, when there would be no force. One is when the particle isn't moving, and two is when the particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field lines. Okay, now let's do a few examples to show us how we can determine the direction of the force on a charged particle in a magnetic field. Okay, now we have a few we're going to try and go over on this piece of paper, which is going to be a little bit difficult for me, but we'll try and see how it works out anyway. So we have here a positively charged particle. We have the magnetic field, which is pointing to the left. I'm going to take my right hand for the positively charged particle. I'm going to point it down because the particle is moving down. I'm going to point it, my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and therefore the force on that charged particle is moving out of this page, out of this page. Now here I have a negatively charged particle, so I'm going to use my left hand, and I'm going to bend over here like this, and I'm going to point my finger, my thumb down, my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and in this case, the force on this charged particle is moving into this page. Okay? This one, it was moving out of this page, and for the negatively charged particle, it's moving into this page. Okay, now I have a couple more. I'm going to try on the back of this page. See if I can do this without too much trouble, like that, and maybe even make that a little bit more straight, like that. Okay, we'll do the positively charged particle first. So here we have a positively charged particle. The particle is moving to the left. The magnetic field, this is the magnetic field. These points indicate the magnetic field is coming out of the page. So in this case, the magnetic field is coming out of the page. The particle is moving to the left, and the force is down the page, like that. So the force is down this piece of paper. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for my, using my left hand for the negatively charged particle. I'm going to say that the particle is moving to the right, and therefore I point my thumb in that direction. My fingers come out of the page, because that's kind of attractive, because my fingers, uh, the magnetic field is coming out of the page, and this one is down the page also. So in both cases, I can hold that like that with my nose, and therefore in both cases, the force is down this page on that positively charged particle and on that negatively charged particle. Okay, now we're going to do some here in our presentation. We'll run through, I think I have like eight examples here that we'll go through. Um, and here we have a positively charged particle. I'm going to make sure I have my, make sure I have my right hand. I'm going to take my right hand and I take my thumb and point it to the right, point my fingers up, thumb and fingers at right angle to each other, and basically now I'm looking at the palm of my hand, and that means that the force is coming out of the page on that charged particle, and that is the force vector, and that dot indicates that that is the tip of the arrow as it comes out of the page. Now this one, we have the oppositely charged uh, particle, so this is negatively charged. I'm going to take my left hand, once again, thumb to the right, fingers up. I'm looking at the back of my hand, basically, palm is facing into the page, and that means that the force on that charged particle is into the page. Okay, the next two, we'll do the positively charged particle again. I'm going to take my right hand, point my thumb up, and I'm going to turn my hand, or however you started, I'm going to turn my hand so my fingers are pointing to the right, and therefore I'm looking once again at the back of my hand, and my palm is facing into the page, and that means the force on that charged particle is into the page. Negatively charged particle, thumb pointing down, fingers pointing to the right, and um, that means that I'm looking at the back of my hand again, my palm is facing into the page, and once again, this one, the force is into the page. Once again, this symbol means the force is moving, the force vector is moving into the page. Okay, now we have a couple where we have, this is the magnetic field. Once again, the magnetic field here, these uh, symbols mean the magnetic field is moving into the page. Do the positively charged particle again, point my thumb to the right, and now I'm going to turn my hand so my thumb is still to the right, and my fingers are into the page, and that means my palm is facing up, like I'm kind of asking somebody to give me something. My palm faces up, and that means that the force on that charged particle is up. This one is negatively charged, it's coming from the same direction, so I'm going to take my left hand, point my thumb to the right, fingers just straight, I'm not holding my hand kind of basically out in front of me with my palm facing down, and that means that the force on this charged particle is going to be down. Okay, I think this is the last two. We have two where we have the magnetic field is coming out of the page. Now these two we have to use a little bit more hand coordination, but let's start with the char positively charged particle. Take my thumb, point it to the left, but now I want the magnetic field to be coming out of the page because this dot indicates the magnetic field is coming out of the page. 
I'm going to turn my hand over kind of behind my right ear, thumb to the left, fingers pointing behind me, and that means that my palm is facing up, and in this case, that means the force is up on that charged particle due to that magnetic field. Last one here. Now I'm going to take my left hand again. I'm going to point my thumb is pointing up, and now i got to kind of turn my hand around so that the magnetic field is coming out of me. My thumb is still facing up, and that means my palm is facing to the left, and that means that the force on that charged particle is to the left. Okay, so there you go. We went over in that video pretty completely uh, how to determine the direction of the force on a charged particle, whether using a positively charged particle in your right hand or a negatively charged particle and what I would say is your left hand rule. And we talked about how there's no force when there's no motion of the particle or when the particle is moving parallel to the electric field. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics coming in math videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends. Show them how much you care.